Hello guys, welcome back again to InfoSec Patch Channel. In today's video, what I want to talk about is what is better to get, I'm getting this question a lot, IT certifications or a college degree. So stay tuned and I want to get right into it. Okay, so what is better? In my personal opinion, I think a college degree holds more value because that gives you the discipline and if you have your four-year degree, if you want to get into management, you can get into management. And the only thing that IT certifications hold is, you know, you can say that you know the technology, right? Like I have both, right? I have a master's degree in cybersecurity and for an example, I have a handful of certifications under my belt, so I can compare the two. So, with that being said, if you want to get into, you know, a, you know, if you say college is not for me, I don't want to do college. I just want to get into the field. I want to work, and yada yada yada, right? So, if you come to me and you want me to give you my personal opinion, I would say, okay, you know, whoever you are. What is your ultimate goals, right? What is your goals? Do you want to be in a, in a security space? Do you want to be a server admin working with Active Directory and server stuff? Do you want to be a virtualization admin, VMware, Hyper-V, Citrix? Do you want to be a networking guru, right? Routing, switching, dealing with Cisco, Juniper, you know, Palo Alto. You, you know, Palo is probably more on the, on the security because they're a firewall. But you get what I'm saying. So... If you guys say, I want to be a networking guru, I would say, okay, go for your network plus. This is assuming that you have no certifications at all, okay? Network plus, start out with that so you have the basic fundamentals of networking, right? So, of course, if you go into CCNA, yeah, you'll learn about the iOS, you'll learn about the seven layers, the OSI model, same thing you're going to do in network plus. You'll learn how to configure routers, you learn, you know, each, uh, BGP, EIGRP, OSPF, and those routing protocols in Cisco that you may not dive deep into on a network plus. But for an example, I have ex firsthand experience with a coworker a couple of years ago. He had a CCNA, right? True story. He has a CCNA and I just said, hey, I'm not going to give his name out. Hey, so-and-so, I think it's a layer one issue you know, you know, yada, 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 we have to re, you know, reclamp down the cable. He goes, what do you mean a layer one issue? And I said, aren't you a CCNA? You should know what layer one, layer two, layer three, don't you learn this? And he goes, oh, you know, we didn't really do that much. And I said, okay, maybe in a network plus, if you, if you, if you wouldn't have skipped network plus, you would have learned, you know, white, orange, orange, white, green, blue, blue, white, green, brown, white, brown, right? 586B. Wow, G. That's how I remember it. So this would have helped you. So now if you look onto a patch panel, you look onto a keystone jack, you know, you want to make a uh, RJ45 connector. You know, you're not going to learn that in Cisco. They're not going to, they're going to assume you know how to do that because you came from your network plus, right? So, you know, learn what you want to do. You know, if you want to be a server guy and learn Microsoft, you know, because Microsoft certifications, I think, leans more towards your server stuff, now more cloud, Azure, and Office 365, because everything is moving that way, right? Or if you just want to be a help desk guy, you say, I always want to be help desk, and I don't want to move up. So go get your, you know, your network plus, maybe your A plus, and maybe, um, you know, I, 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 I don't know today what's the, you know, the desktop support thing in Microsoft, because I've been out of the Microsoft game for, for, for some time in that sense. But, you know, do your research if that's what you want to do, right? So that's just my opinion, right? Like, I... I went down a rabbit hole years ago. I, I wanted to be this master of everything. And I, I didn't master many things, you know, 10 years ago, for example, that's the way I was, I wanted to get this certification, that certification, that certification. And I was like, okay, I'm getting all these certifications and, you know, I'm learning this, this and that, but I didn't specialize in anything. And I think today specializing in something really helps with your, you know, with your experience, because you're not going to know, you know, you can learn 
you know, bits and pieces, you know, about different technologies and everything. But in my opinion, you're not going to be a master of everything. You know, that's just my opinion. And I can, I can be right or wrong. I don't know. But for me, I'm not a master of anything. You know, I'm not a master, a master of everything. You know, I know my routing and switching. I know my security stuff. And this is what I focused on in my career for the last, you know, six, seven years, right? So that's just, you know, my advice to you guys. Focus on what you want to do. If I'm a big believer in that. And just, I got this cool little, um, this cool little sign I found at the, I don't remember where I found it. I think at the doll store or something like that. But it says this enjoy the journey and I really like this and I keep it right here because I'm enjoying this journey on this channel and I'm blessed to have it so whatever you do in life if it's certifications if it's an IT degree if you just want to be a help desk guy for the rest of your life just enjoy that journey wake up in the morning saying I love what I do because if you wake up in the morning and you're miserable that is no bueno right you want to wake up in the morning saying I love what I do. Let, you know, for me, I wake up in the morning. I can't wait to check my email. I can't wait to get on my, you know, on the phone with my engineers to hear what we're going to be working on this week. That's just me, right? Like, or what vulnerability, see if there's a new zero day or whatever, you know, whatever I'm researching that morning. You have to wake up every single day in life and love what you do and do what you love. That's just my advice to you guys. So with that said, Please like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff below. Reach out to me on social media, however you guys want to reach me. I'm here for you. If there's anything I can do to help, I would love to. And hopefully this has been informative for you guys. And I thank you guys for viewing and we'll be in touch soon.